Let's begin now. Tuesday is gone with the wind. Yep. Almost. 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 I'm Mr. Butcher. I'm Mr. Newbert. And this is the afternoon announcements on a Tuesday. That's right. All right. So we got our Tuesday's Gone song going, and now it is time to talk about... What, what's the breakfast, Dad? All right. Give me the cover pile. It's not a surprise. Oh. No. Do we actually have... We do. We have, a, we have food on the menu, huh? We do. Pizza time. Pizza time. That's right. Pizza Bacon time. and egg pizza. Ooh. Yep. 23 carbs. Bacon and egg pizza. 23 carbs, Joey. 23 carbs. How many carbs are in that uh, Pop-Tart? Pop Bacon egg pizza. I don't know, but the Pop-Tarts, <laughs> we did find out that the Pop-Tarts at Westside are a little bit bigger than the Pop-Tarts at Kennedy. Because they're Something else for they're those middle graders they're middle to look school. forward yeah. to. They're middle schoolers. Middle so schoolers. They get a little bit bigger. Yeah. Or you can get zero. I mean, you can't go wrong with zero. Yeah, All right. Plus, let's for lunch. Oh. Cocoa puffs. Oh man, ran out of cocoa puffs. Surprise. I thought we had surprise. unlimited supplies of cocoa puffs. We don't have an unlimited plus, supply. Plus, let's for lunch. What's for lunch? If you uh, didn't like pizza for breakfast, then you're gonna love lunch. Pizza it's, time. It's pizza time. Pizza yeah, time. That's right. Uh, it's French bread pizza this time. I thought that said cauliflower pizza. Uh, no. Cauliflower with cheese and diced pears. Yes. Yeah. Twenty nine carbs in that French bread pizza. We are carb loading. We are. That's right. Carb loading. So that means All tomorrow right, we're gonna. Get a lot of cardio. In. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm sure coach has got a plan. That's probably yeah. probably what it was. Um, yeah. You know, food nutrition That's right. and um, PE and PE department probably yeah. working in coops. That's right. You know, let's carb load, load, cardio. Yeah, we'll hit the hit the weights heavy on Thursday. Yeah. Be good. <laughs> yeah. Squat and deadlift on Thursday. That's Three, right. All right. Time to pump you up. up. All right. All right. Who was perfect tennis today? Pre K Miss Power. Okay. No one in kindergarten. First grade, Miss Easterly, Miss Steve, Miss Stevens, and Miss Wallace. Second grade, Miss Bassett, Miss Brian, Miss Chandler, and Miss Kinney. Third grade, Miss Caldwell, Miss DeRose, and Mr. Lang. Fourth grade, McCoy and McCraw. It seems like every time one is, the other one is. Yep. And Miss Stone. Fifth grade, Miss Bradbury, Miss Hester, Miss Hickson, and Miss Sorrels. And then Miss Corley, Miss Guerra, and Miss Graham were perfection. That's nice. right, perfection when it comes that's a, to... That's a good showing. Yeah, no, it was really a good bad. show. It's good. All right, it's Tuesday, so we started this last week, and we're going to continue it now. It is time for our fact of the week, and I'm going to see if you get this, okay, if you would have gotten it. Okay. All right, so here we go. Here's our fact of no, the week. No cheating. no cheating. Okay, I'm here with Jasmine Pruitt, and it is time for our fact of the week. You got one for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hear it. Did you know that there is only one letter that does not appear in any of, in any of the 50 state names? There is only one letter in the entire alphabet that doesn't appear in any of the 50 state names. That's what you're trying to tell me. What letter would that be? Q. Dun, 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 dun. And that was the fact dun, of the week. All right. So, did you get that right? Before you heard Jasmine say which letter is not in any of the state's names, did you get it? No. no you didn't? You never knew it was Q. I never knew it was Q. When I thought about it, I knew Q, but guess what else? I guess I thought for sure Z. I went immediately to Y for some reason in like uh, New York. New York? Uh, yeah. I went to Z. Z, huh? Yeah. Arizona. I know that was the one I didn't think Arizona. of. Arizona. Yeah, Z was the one. Q. I, didn't think. I you know, we don't have a. No, there is no Q. Cause but there is one in Quebec. Oh, <laughs> that's not the United, United States. States. Oh, it's right across. Is it right across the border. It's it. Yeah, over there with the border. Yes, yeah, yeah. northern yeah, border. It's up there. Not the southern border. Not this. No, no. But if you thought it was in the southern border, you probably should pay more attention in, in your math class. Yeah. Not math. Math. Not math. Map. map skills. Right. Yeah, exactly. Not map assessment. All right, I think that brings us to the end yeah. of the day. So, oh, no, it's not. We forgot our good, good news, news call. call of the day. So it is now time for our good news call of the day. That's right. 
Our good news call of the day comes from Miss Allen's fifth grade class and was recommended by Miss Wade, and it is Jameer Jackson. Jameer was chosen because during small group language arts time, he helped out one of his classmates who was struggling with reading some of the more difficult words. And then when someone else was starting to make fun of that child, instead of joining in, uh, Jameer reminded him he just needed a little help to get him in there and continue to encourage that student to do their best. We're really proud of you, Jameer. Thank you for being our Good News Call of the Day. And now that brings us to the end of our day. So thank you guys for helping us keep you safe by being a ready, respectful, and responsible leader who's focused on graduating the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible leader, focus on graduation, you are boldly committed right. to student success. You guys have a great day. Remember, this is day two of our thing. It will be better than day one. It won't be as good as day 30, but it will be better. Yeah, listen to your teachers, please. Exactly. And teachers, buses, only the buses. All right. Bye.